it's Teresa with My Lice Advice and today I'm showing you exactly how to clean a lice comb so that you can get all of the little lice eggs, nits, and bugs out of it. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com and I'm a registered nurse and I actually specialize in head lice. So if you're dealing with lice, don't freak out. Just go to MyLiceAdvice.com. I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through exactly how to get rid of it. This video is divided into two parts. First, how to clean a lice comb. And then next is how to sanitize a lice comb, which is actually something beyond just cleaning it. Part one, how to clean a lice comb. So there's lots of different kinds of lice combs, but anybody that's watched any of my video tutorials knows that plastic lice combs do not work. Don't even waste your time with that plastic lice comb. All that those are any good at doing is getting out the big lice bugs, but they don't get out lice eggs and they don't get out the baby bugs. So just don't even waste your time with that. A good lice comb is always going to be solid metal and it's going to have long teeth like this that are really close together. Basically the closer together they are, the better the lice comb is going to be. I'll put a link in the description below of a really good quality lice comb. Now, if you're combing through the hair and you're trying to figure out the very best way to get rid of head lice, I have a step-by-step -step video system on my website, myliceadvice.com, where I actually show you exactly how to get rid of lice the same way that lice professionals do. So you can just get rid of it all in one day. And on that website, you're also gonna find a bunch of other resources like a free house cleaning checklist that's specific to head lice. Now, if you're combing through the hair correctly, and you're using a quality metal lice comb, you can actually see some of the lice bugs and eggs can get stuck inside the teeth of this comb. And you can see those pretty easily if you hold it up like towards a light. Do you see these little black pieces here? These are probably little lice eggs or tiny lice bugs. So now let me show you how you get them out of the comb. First off, when I'm doing any kind of wet combing like this, I always use conditioner. So a lot of the lice eggs and bugs actually just get stuck in the conditioner instead of the comb. Because when they get stuck in the conditioner like this, you just rinse it down the sink um, and that's really easy. So that's your first thing is use some kind of lubricant, conditioner, or whatever oil you're using when you're combing so that the lice eggs don't all get stuck in the comb. It makes it a lot easier to clean. But if you do get little eggs and bugs stuck in the comb, what you do is hold the comb under running water and actually open up each one of these little teeth individually like this. You see, I'm actually using my thumb to open up each little tooth and run water through it. Running water through it like that is going to release those lice eggs and bugs that are in there. And if you have a quality lice comb like this that's solid metal, you don't have to worry about it breaking or the tongs getting loosened up. A modification to this is that sometimes people will do this opening up the tongs just in a bowl of water. So it's definitely not even close to as effective as running water through the teeth. And it's super gross because you end up with all of the lice eggs and lice bugs floating around in that water. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that, especially if you have access to running water. Okay, let's talk about the difference between just cleaning a comb and sanitizing a comb. Cleaning the comb is what you're doing while you are combing through the hair. Like it's the way that you're getting all of the bugs out so that you can continue to comb through the hair. Whereas sanitizing a lice comb is something that you would do when you're done using the lice comb on that person and you wanna have it completely sanitized so that you could use it on somebody else. And the whole purpose of sanitizing a lice comb is to prevent you from spreading lice to someone else through using the same comb. So when I'm doing a professional lice treatment on somebody like that were to come into my lice center, I will use the same comb on them the whole time and I will just clean it in between. Sometimes I'll clean it really thoroughly where, where I'm like opening up the teeth of the comb and things like that. But if I was gonna use that same lice comb on anybody else, even people in their family, I would want to sanitize it before I use it on anyone else. The very best way to sanitize a lice comb is by putting it in very hot water. 
So lice bugs, lice eggs, all of that in all of its stages can't live above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's kind of the temperature that you're shooting for. And boiling water is well over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I recommend is getting a pot of water, putting on the stove, getting it up to boil. And once it's come to a boil, then just take it off the stove and put your comb in there. And it only needs to be in there for 10 minutes and then it's sanitized. Take it out, dry it off, and then it's good to go. If you've been struggling with lice for a long time or you just found out that your kid has lice, one thing I wanna make sure that you're aware of is that lice have become immune to over-the-counter lice kits and home remedies that used to work in the past. And so it's pretty typical for people to have head lice come back over and over because they never get rid of it with those over-the-counter kits or home remedies. And so if you have head lice, Go to my website, myliceadvice.com. I actually have a step-by-step -step video system. You just follow along the videos and by the end of them, you'll be done with lice and it won't ever come back again. And I'll put a link for that in the description below. Okay, let's do a quick review. So first off, plastic lice comes, they do not work. Just, you might as well throw it away and get a good solid metal lice comb. The best thing you can do is use some kind of lubricant while you're combing through the hair because the lice eggs, the lice bugs will get stuck in that lubricant and it's easy to wash it down the sink. But if you do get any lice eggs and bugs stuck in between the teeth of the comb, then you just put it under running water and open up each one of these little teeth. Now, sanitizing the comb is the next step further, and you're gonna wanna sanitize the comb if you're gonna be using it in between people. And the way to sanitize a lice comb is by putting it in very hot water, 140 degrees for 10 minutes. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below, and if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.